She is dead in Kansas City, Missouri, after her mother mistakenly put her down for a nap in an oven. 25-year-old Mariah Thomas is charged with endangering the welfare of a child. According to prosecutors, first responders saw burn wounds on the infant's body and declared her dead at the scene. We're heading over to Kansas City, Missouri, where a mom is charged after accidentally placing her baby in the oven. Let me stop the show. How can you accidentally place a baby in the oven? Like, how do you accidentally do that? That's crazy. I, help me understand. Help, help me, help my warped mind understand accidentally placing a baby in the oven. Girl. Let's find out. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. A Kansas City mother was charged in the death of her one-month-old baby after she allegedly accidentally placed the child in the oven instead of a crib. Mariah Thomas, 26 years old, was charged with a Class A felony of endangering the welfare of a child in the first degree in the death of her baby. Around 1.30 p.m. Friday, Kansas City police responded to a report of a non-breathing infant at the residence, according to charges filed by the prosecutor. They arrived to the scene to find a one-month-old child with apparent burn and thermal injuries lying in the car seat near the front door. The police were told the mother of the child was putting the child down for a nap and accidentally placed the child in the oven instead of a crib. Oven is in the kitchen. Crib should be somewhere else in the house, i.e. living room, dining room, bedroom. Oven, is this the kind of oven that you will open oven and slide stuff in there oven? Or is this like one of those slow cooker ovens that be on top of the counter? Which, which oven are we talking about here? Like, how could you misconstrued a crib over an oven? Help me out with that, people. Help me understand that. I need, to, I, I need some understanding. Instead of the crib, crib, big round crib, oven, crib, oven, a crib. Kansas City Fire Department and EMS responders who were also present on the scene rendered aid and declared the infant dead at the scene. Thomas' parents, with whom she lived, told the detectives that they were at work when the incident occurred. As per charging documents, the suspect's father told the police that his daughter called him around lunchtime asking him to rush back home because something was wrong with the baby. He said when he arrived back home, he could smell smoke inside the house and found his granddaughter deceased. When Thomas' father asked her what happened, she said, and I quote, I thought I put the infant's name retracted in the crib and I accidentally put her in the oven. How? 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 The, the grandfather, the father, has, has to be standing there dumbfounded. How, how old are you again? Let's rewind. Rewind. 26 years old. It's just like you said, drugs. It had to be. Got to be. Got to be. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Cocaine wouldn't do that. Bro, it got to be. Obituates wouldn't do that. Obituates. Obituates. A bit, a bitch, a witz. Yeah. Got bitch in the name. This is a suspicious death investigation at this time. The Kansas City Police in a statement, quote, detectives want to make sure that they gather all the evidence with this opportunity to ensure that the case is able to be investigated in the event of a medical examiner rules the cause of death a homicide. It is not yet clear that if Thomas has enlisted an attorney According to Missouri state law, she could face more than 10 years to life in prison. No, you you deserve under the jail. They ain't no, no, no. That's a death penalty, ain't it? Right? No, that's a death penalty. Right. That's premeditated. Well, okay, okay. Let, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. 
maybe. I don't know about pre-mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, like she said, accidentally put the infant in the oven by mistake. Yeah, I don't get how do you do that? Maybe. And a good defense attorney could play the insane card, right? Yeah. I- I- insanity. I-, I think that's what her defense is going to go with. Her defense is going to go with that. Okay. He's going to have to go with insanity. He has to. Because, again, we can't say if it's premeditated because in her release statement, she says she accidentally put the baby in the oven. And that's the part oh. I believe that they're going to zero in on. But yeah. still, oven, oven, crib, yeah. oven, yeah. crib. Yeah, I. they knew what they were doing. We appreciate all the first responders who worked this scene and the prosecutors who went to the scene in order to issue the charges. Hold on there, driver. Hold on there, driver. Driver, you still with me, driver? Hold yeah. on. We, we're going to one last place before we're done. We're heading, well, actually, this is in Columbus, but the story comes out of Cleveland. But we're heading to Columbus. We continue to follow a developing story tonight as Pammy May enters her plea deal today. She's accused of killing five-year-old Darnell Taylor, who was in her custody at the time of his death. May pleaded not guilty to three charges, including murder. Now, with those initial 911 calls that Tin TV received, we learned that Pammy May was struggling with mental health issues at the time of the disappearance. Where another mother, what's up with all these mothers, man? What is social what, media? What is up with all these mothers? Suspected mother, it's social media, I'm telling you. Suspected mother in the murder of a five year old child. Lord have mercy. Lord. Social media got them, I'm telling you. The, they want to be free. They don't want no kids. They don't want nothing. The mother at the center of a murder of a five year old this week has been booked into jail. Pammy May, 48, was booked into Cuyahoga County Jail around 5 p.m. Sunday after being found walking around an apartment building from an Amber Alert that was that was rescinded. She was booked on charges of murder, child endangering, kidnapping. May is charged in connection to the murder of five-year-old Darnell Taylor. May was the legal guardian of Taylor at the time of his death. An Amber Alert for Taylor was also canceled as of 4 a.m. Friday morning. The alert just started after 3 a.m. Wednesday. Police say Pammy was arrested by the Brooklyn police around 9.30 after a business owner reported a woman walking suspiciously around the building. Brooklyn police reached the woman and said that she was distraught and crying. She was treated at the hospital and then arrested. During an interview, police got the location of Taylor's body. Taylor's biological grandmother spoke out against the system that kept her grandson in May's care. She hoped that the police and the courts can find justice for the little baby. May told the police where they can find the five-year-old and said that he was in a sewer. What happened, you ask? Well, this goes back to the husband of May calling and reporting the kid being kidnapped setting off the amber alert in the first place he called 911 after she allegedly hammered Darnell, and then she put her hands over his mouth to stop him from telling him from where he was going or what was going on we got the audio dispatch of the husband calling 911 and he believed that the, the child is in danger they they found the car unoccupied in brooklyn hours after the amber alert went off they searched the area. They couldn't find nobody in the area. But from a tip, they was able to find May. And during the interview, May was able to tell them where the child was at. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. These sad these sad mother stories, man. I, I did a story on a mother that killed her child before. And that was... But these sad stories of, 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 of females and their kids, man. Like, bro, like... I, I don't know who to yeah. I, I don't know who to who to put this on. Should should we put this on the family for seeing signs 
of mental illness in these females? Yeah, well, you know, some people can play it off. Some people can play off good. I'm good. I'm all right. This and that. And then reality kick in and that's it. That's all she wrote. The first lady with her, the, the oven in the crib, I'm... I'm still trying to wrap my head around that one. And then this one right here, I can honestly say that this one right here is premeditated. She took the kid, she kidnapped the kid with the with with the intentions of doing harm to the kid. So this right here could be could could be first degree murder and if not life, the death penalty. But the other one that could not be premeditated and like i said before they there are they are definitely going to use the insanity plea for her so but for this one maybe maybe the insanity plea but i don't know she she took the kid with the intentions and then came back and told the officers that she did it so i don't know sad man sad 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 okay well well that's that's it driver what what's your thoughts on 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 this story right here what, what's your thoughts on it man situation there that's a really sad situation for an innocent child to go through this school with these so-called parents but you know they lay down and have these kids and they supposed to have their shit together but you know social media or whatever i don't know we can't say but sometimes these people just live in a fantasy world and thinking you know they supposed to be in this fantasy world which is not true but you know, mental health is really, really, really going on everywhere. It's like, it's, it's messed up. It's messed up. It's messed up. That's all I can say. It's just messed up. Well, rest in peace to that kid. Rest in peace to the infant. Uh, and too deep like Omar. Make me want to track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama want to get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy. Bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.